for reviews, interviews and your daily film picks. Click the bell icon and subscribe to Film Companion South now. Hi sir. Hi, hi. Welcome to Film Companion South. Thank you. So we are talking today I think close to a week before the release of Vikram. Yeah. But let me take you back to our conversation just before Kaidi and you were it Kaidi hadn't released yet mm. and then you were kind of telling me that you know the way Karthi kind of called you to convince you to take Kaidi uh-huh. and you had decided not to do any police officer police roles officer. yeah and then you of course you did Kaidi yeah. at what point did you realize that okay this is a good decision uh, no the moment i uh, decided to hear it i knew that i'm doing it <laughs> okay okay yeah because see a person an actor like a star like Karthi is yeah. calling being a friend yeah. he called me and then the moment uh, lokesh came and narrated the script i guess in the first 20 minutes we got the gist of the film hmm. so that's when you know you knew that you know i knew that okay this is it this is a you know for me it's kind of a comeback and so that is it yeah and and it came out beautifully and you're playing the same character a second time or can uh, we say that no we can't say that we can't say any of that about vikram my character i can't say i can't reveal any of it i can just say that uh, there are a lot of uh, you know interesting elements in vikram yeah. which is surprising and things let's talk a little about the sets of vikram yeah. because i mean you've already mm-hmm. worked with so many greats but then this is mm-hmm. another level of greatness yeah. right i mean in one side you have fahad fasil vijay sethupathi kamal hasan of course now surya So what's it like to be on the those sets because I mean wh- where do you look you know <laughs> everywhere it's like yeah, star power actually the film uh, is a treat yeah uh, just like a visual treat you have you know an actor's treat starting with kamal sir for me it was like you know kamal sir is on i'm doing a film with kamal sir and that's it even otherwise i think you you've always mentioned that you you are a huge fan of kamal yeah, sir yeah yeah it's yeah. only because of him i entered acting otherwise i would have done yeah. something else in life and i would have been much more happy i guess <laughs> Yeah, 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 I don't know. Yeah. So, so you blame Kamal sir. Yeah. I know. I mean, I would have had a more peaceful life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This comes with constant restlessness and yeah. because of Kamal sir. So I was telling on the the audio launch the other day that you know, uh, whatever success, you know, whenever I succeed, definitely the, I owe it to Kamal sir. The, yeah. the percentage of it, you know, because it's because of him I am here. So that is it. And so I imagine I'm doing a film with Kamal sir, and uh, yeah, as you said in the set. Um, You know, um, so I have this. I, I don't have screen space with uh, Vijay Sethu very much in the film, but with Fahad definitely, mm. and with Kamal sir, yeah. So it was a for me, uh, it was a dream come true mm. first of all. And for the the question that you asked, it is actually a very rare uh, combination of actors doing a mass commercial film. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Because you see uh, these big films might not have so many, you know, so called so called great actors. Yeah. You might not. here you have a combination of many of them yeah. all in one film and yeah. doing a mass yeah. so it's actually star power and acting talent acting talent yeah. yeah so that is something unusual and i'm sure that i am it is all all of them came just because of lokesh yeah. and of course kamal sir of course yeah kamal sir because the moment i spoke to lokesh sir of you know when i saw the teaser of the film i was in dubai at that time we, i was uh, sitting with the re- writer for a uh, for another tamil film we shot it in dubai so i was there during the writing session hmm. So that's when the teaser released yeah. of Vikram first turn. Yeah. So then I called up Lokesh from Dubai and told that you know it is awesome. This mm. is <clears throat> you know a huge fan thing. So he said, uh, "Amma sir, and uh, one more thing, Ningalu in the parthal nadi kiringa sir." Yes, sir. Oh, so that's that, that's when he told me that I'm, I'm like yeah because the teaser is okay. not not related yeah, no, no, to yeah. I'm like okay, I said I'm in Dubai. Said, Come back and I'll narrate it. You're you're acting in this film. I'm like oh god. So that's it. So yeah. I he didn't ask what is it, who is doing what, what. It didn't matter yeah. because it's a Kamal Sir's film. So and I'm very very indebted to Lokesh yeah. for that. Yeah. Because he, know, I mean, during the, I think so dubbing of Kaidi that mm. I re, I came to know or he came to know that we both a huge Kamal Sir mm-hmm. fan. So so it's a dream come true for me. So but then let me tell you this. Ma, he made Managram, which is a great movie. but it's still a, a small movie right it's a, it's, it's, it's a first film it's a yeah, first yeah. film it had a lot of i mean a lot of things that l- looks like a first film but then the second you saw kaidi th- that's when you really saw that okay this yeah. is a this is a voice this is a director yeah. right so when you were doing kaidi and when you finally saw the final output uh did you expect this guy to pull off a movie like this or were you <coughs> surprised no uh i'll tell you the first day of shoot yeah um i was uh, 
I was very happy to see him work yeah. because uh, I was seeing a director who was constantly working. I might have ten doubts, but I would have to wait for an hour to ask him the doubt because I. It's not that I can, I can ask many times. Hmm. I wanted him to be in the right, you know, frame yes, of mind yes, for yeah. me to ask. Yeah. So this guy was very clear and and probably he's doing a big film. Yeah. Uh, Pay for him at that yeah, time. At that time was a big film. Yeah. So he was a little pressure. Yeah. So I, you know, you give that space, and uh, but then we just gelled in the first day, second day. So um, so that uh, on the first day of shoot, second day of shoot, I came to know that see this guy knows his stuff. Yeah. Now the only thing was, since we know the subject, I was I just wanted to know how he how you know the execution part of it or how is it going to be hmm. in film. That is something which I was not sure about correct, because correct. usually you have a script. and you know okay this this thing this is like when he narrated the subject after the first 20 minutes he said uh, that's it sir i said what do you mean that's it from then on it's climax wow that's it that's it i said you just narrated put as sir after this it's a climax <laughs> okay oh so imagine yeah. and then it's, it's a travel yeah. so how do you execute that like how so that was something which i had to you know let me see this and it was mind blowing yeah like for for, uh, for anyone who's watched kaidi so that was i think so that's his you know his strength that is his the genre that he's working on and vikram is also that genre and yeah. it's his genre so yeah so at that time finally i think even at that time you were saying okay you're done enough police roles yeah. but now are you at peace with it no no i after kaidi i guess more than 20 films came my way police roles, roles yeah. and my wife do you have I your think, own uniform no i i have my i think so that is the issue i i the la the last when i did anjade yeah. that satyavan costume yeah. i do have it oh you have that i think so i have to keep that away because i am attracting cop trolls <laughs> yeah, I, i don't yeah. know why so um so i got these uh, i mean my wife used to get uh, sometimes she used to you know so she, she can hear me say that the moment when they talk about a film i'll say uh police navana sir hmm. no police yeah they will be also like, oh, is cop role but not with uni- i said no uniform or not uniform not yeah so they always i get these intense very serious kind of things which are not uh, from both serious. industries no only tamil only tamil malayalam it's totally malayalam is it's fun it's okay. like they give you totally oppositely di- uh, opposite characters like i i was telling you know people that in tamil i could never break the image hmm the serious ang- angry man thing is always there for yeah. the characters which i play yeah a, a very classy very educated kind of a uh, not that yeah. it would be like my first film no no not that first film was i play a henchman yeah something. okay yeah i play an auto driver in engine yeah. that's all there but it's all very intense intense correct serious. correct yeah there is no fun there is no humor there is no love there is no jovial I know, note I know. Yeah. and the kind of drama i am trying to play a very normal man hmm. you know simple thing Malayalam is yeah. case is opposite. Like I did for the people. This is yeah. my first commercial film. The second film which was offered to me was Achu in the Mind by Satyan yeah. Dikar. Yeah. That's basic. It's a humor. Comedy. Basic yeah. Comedy. So that I could break it in the first yeah. year of my career, which I in after 15 years I am not able to break it. Yet. Yeah. So that is something which is annoying. So what happened is after Kaidi, uh, my friend uh, Sugeet, so yeah, the director Sugeet. You already worked with him in Three Dots. Three right? Dots. Yeah. yeah. So he called up and I was asking. Uh, <clears throat> so it was during COVID times. So he said, uh, "No, there's a lot can't shoot in you know somewhere here. So I mean, I'm planning a film in Dubai, and uh, it's an interesting thread. It's about an autistic guy, mm. autistic person who is uh, you know in his new place of stay where he's staying. He starts hearing a voice, mm. and it's uh, he realizes that it's a Filipino ghost's voice, mm. and it's a mystery. It's a murder mystery thing which he's trying to solve." So I was like that sounds interesting. Yeah yeah yeah. So he's like oh you liked it. I said yeah, I loved it. So you think we we'll do- we are doing it. I didn't want to know what the subject is what yeah. the script is no. And yeah. he in he, he knows it. He is he has narrated many scripts. So he knows like I'll at a script I said no script. Mm. And because I wanted to do something other than a cop. Yeah yeah. So that's how I we did the film and that's for me it is a very very challenging role and uh, it has come out well. Mm. So that I've really worked on it. I mean yeah I was so tensed and uh, thing while I was doing it because I wasn't very sure what to do and how hmm. to do it and it's, uh, probably when it comes we'll see yeah, yeah yeah so tell me about this as as somebody uh, you know of course in the 2000s uh, when you kind of started your career there were many people 
who started their career either in Tamil or Malayalam, but then they wouldn't succeed with that balancing act. They would either settle for Malayalam alone mm-hmm. or Tamil alone. But you are somebody who's consistently done that and you always balance Tamil with Malayalam. What is your learning from trying to do that? I realize that I am, I am, I am not on balance. <laughs> There's an imbalance there. Really? Okay. Yeah, because uh, that's not a good space to be in. Because I I don't have an uh, an example to you know or a model to look up to in that case. Because in India, if you name an actor, you have to have an industry associated. Mm. Yeah, of course. You yeah. might do languages. I mean, yeah. act in different languages. Yeah, male actors for sure. Yeah, predominant industry. Yeah. So what happened in my case is I did my first Malayalam film. Before the second film release, I got my first Tamil film. Yeah. The first one was a hit. This was a hit. Then I do this. This is a hit. This is a hit. After some time, there was a small career block, and uh, films uh, didn't come the, the way I expected. Uh, so I should have actually probably had I been you know like other actors. Mm. So when you name actors, it's not that logically you can't be in. Two, I mean, yeah. If you're playing the lead role, you can't be balancing in two, two industries. industries. You need yeah. a predominant. Industry. Yeah. So which I was trying to focus in Tamil at that mm. time. And so I missed a lot of Malayalam projects. Yeah. It's not about missing because you are trying to do something here. But when these things don't click, uh, click, and it's not click means I have I've always had problems in the production side. Okay, okay. One thing which I've always been little uh, personally, I'm being uh, I feel okay hmm. is that uh, none of the films which I've rejected hmm. are hits. Okay. I have rejected because of some other reason. Like hmm. I would have been doing some other film or some other reason for it. So that's only me and the director knows it, you know. Mm. And there are so many of them. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so this thing about you know balance thing, in one way it's okay, but if you want to start them, mm. this is not the way. So I better. You stick. have to focus on one. I, so I, you know, it's high time I have to focus on one thing. Yeah. But I don't know. Let me see. I I just thought because I was focusing in Tamil. Yeah. It didn't come my way the right way. I thought. So then I thought I just let, let me just leave it. Let me not focus. Yeah. Probably if it works. Correct. Probably I'm focusing on the right on the wrong side. I don't know. Mm. So I've just kept it open. Let's see. Even the last time we kind of spoke, I mean, from the from from what I've understood, I've always looked at you as a, an actor who's a little ahead of his time. Because even at that time, you told me something about how in Malayalam or even in Tamil, I think when directors kind of come to pitch uh, pitch scripts to you, because you were at that time a young actor, and the age gap between you and the senior directors was so much that even if you ask for a narration, people used to get offended. Yeah. Yeah. But whereas now it's not the case, right? Times have changed. The new generation is. They've, they've fought come, back, yeah. They've come. They've just sweeped. They have just, you know. So they want you to hear it, and it's a new thing. Yeah, it's it's good, no. Yeah, and saying no is also harmless. School, it's yeah. cool. Otherwise, be, earlier uh, I've been chucked out of many films. Yeah. So every time you say no, you create an enemy. Yeah. Like I and I'm like uh, I've had so many bad experiences, and I guess many of us would have. Yeah. Been. So now th- times have changed. So. I guess I should have come ten years later. That's right. I would have entered with the new generation. Yeah, it just came just before that. You know, few yeah. years before that. Yeah. Anyway. In between the seniors and, and the, the, the juniors. Yeah, juniors yeah. yeah. Actually. Have you ever felt that okay, if if this was your your time, like you, you are starting your career in 2010, as opposed to 2002 or three when For the People became a super hit, uh, do you feel like oh, the, your kind your taste is matching with the films that is getting made yeah. compared to then? Compared to them, definitely. Yeah. I I'm in love with the new generation. new new Malayalam yeah. movies. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. No doubt about that. I'm in love, and yeah, with the so-called if yeah. doesn't exist. Yeah, so, yeah. It's called the magical if. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, of course, I mean, you look at your your, your career. You you worked with Adur. You know, you worked yeah, with. Yeah, started Mishkin. with Adur, sir. Yeah. yeah, you worked with Mishkin, and you worked with Jairaj, sir, Satyendra Shyam Prasad, sir. Aljo, Super sir. hit with Satyendra Kard, sir. Joshi, sir. I've done with. Yeah, I worked with very senior directors from Malayalam industry. Yeah. But not many in Tamil. Huh. In Tamil. But the Tamil whom I worked with, uh, especially Mishkin, and then of course Lokesh. Um, Lokesh's second film, Kaidi, but both of them, you know, I should say that uh, very, you know, very, very strong in their craft and yeah. things. So that way, I was lucky. Yeah. Because you acted in in such great films, you know, such super hit classmates, and it's yeah. like an all time great hit. Do you feel like okay, at some point, uh, you you didn't get the guidance that you should have got? Or you you didn't have enough people kind of helping out in terms of planning a career path. Have you ever felt something like that? Uh, no, not in that way because I've been very clear of what I 
wanted. The only thing which I've always felt is that it, I've, it always surprised me and, you know, strangely that um, <clears throat> after Anjade, um, when I should have had, you know, a lot of films coming my way, hmm. it didn't turn out that way. Or the film which I tried doing, that is Pooka Yeah. Uh, it got shelved. Yeah. And uh, it was a big way. budget movie, it, right? It was yeah. a halfway down, it got shelved. Yeah. And that would have made my, you know. So there was some unluck factor there. And uh, or probably I should have, uh, you know, focused in Malayalam at that time. I don't know. But uh, it's not that no one's guided me because uh, once Mamuka, Mamuka, uh, he had asked me when we were doing Ore Kadal, hmm. what are you doing here in Chennai? I said, you're staying here. I said, yeah. should have been in Kerala. So then he guided oh, me. Yeah. He's asking you so to. I, okay. Yeah. So there was a big conversation which I can't reveal everything. But uh, so he made sense then. But then I was having hits here. Hmm. And uh, that's what I was saying when you asked the early question that is, see, actors normally you create a market in industry. Yeah. So most of the Malayalam actors who've come to Tamil, they are already a star in Malayalam. Yeah. And they do a Tamil film. Yeah. And they go back. They go back. That's yeah. okay. So here, I it was not that. When I did my Malayalam film, a Tamil film, I was not a star in Malayalam. Hmm. I just finished one film. Yeah. And I didn't have time for that because before that I came to Tamil. So, uh, I was trying to focus here. And then when things went, uh, when didn't go as expected, I didn't have a backup here or a force here or a strong association. Hmm. In the sense... Uh, like a group, a group or something. Or something. Yeah. yeah. So, it didn't work for me. So, probably it's like being at the wrong time. At the hmm. right, uh, uh, going to the wrong place or probably, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, and one mistake which I think so I shouldn't have done that is uh, when big pro productions used to come that time, I used to say no because of because the script was weak. Hmm. Uh, my mind I, never used to allow me to do it, uh, and uh, sometimes I used to think I should have done those uh, bad films hmm. because at least you will be on posters everywhere. Yeah. It's all marketing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing a good film or bad, nothing matters hit matters. So probably I should have done those films, you know. It would have probably paved way for other films to come. So here, in my case, it's always been, this guy comes, he's there, he hmm. does a hit, and then this guy is not seen. Hmm. Then again he comes, it's like, you know, again you start kind of thing. So, so that, I don't know, probably it's the right projects, I don't know, it never came after a while. It used to come. Hmm. My strategy was the same from my first film onward. When For the People was a big hit, I didn't commit any film for one year. Hmm. I went back to doing camera work hmm. because I had left Rajiv Menon yeah. sir and he came. I started doing small docu features and just for livelihood. When when I had a <laughs> when I had a hit and yeah. I had films coming every yeah. time, it didn't it didn't suit me. I mean, so the strategy has been the same always. Yeah. But then because of that, I got a Emma because for Satin sir, they were looking at a newcomer. They were hmm. they wanted a newcomer and. Apparently, he was asking it seems because I wanted to know how did they he cast me from hmm. a very cop serious role to yeah. a very fun loving humor guy. So they said they wanted a newcomer and he was asking us what happened to that guy, the like police officer and for the people. Hmm. So someone apparently told no no he's waiting for good scripts that's why he's not committing. Some good soul yeah, yeah. told that, and he said then let's cast him. Yeah. So if I had done two three in, in between he wouldn't have. Correct correct. So it works you know. So the strategy has been right from beginning but. Uh, I can't work on my luck. Of uh, course. I don't know. It's, some people do say that. I have had cases where uh, in, in a year I've signed six films and five films have been cancelled. And the hmm. sixth one I sh started shooting and got shelved half pay. Hmm. So some blocks. Well, I'm, I'm, I believe I'm out of it now. But yeah. I'm just saying there was a phase. So what was that phase like? It was bad. Hmm. You feel like, you know, you, daily you feel that you're in the wrong place. Either ways, I always feel that I am not, I am in the wrong profession anyway, any day. Hmm. Because I am not uh, cinema. There's nothing to. There's nothing wrong with cinema. Cinema hmm. is perfect. I. So what is your like? What should you have done? At least in the ideal scenario, would you have been happier as a camera person? No, not that. No, I would have gone my spiritual path or something. Hmm. I had two, three options. I just had two options. One is spiritual side, and one is the one is join the army. Hmm. Apart from cinema, nothing else interests me. Spiritual side is something which I'm not very sure about. It's mm. I'm talking about the journey of the spiritual yeah. journey. It's not going under somebody and doing yeah, yeah. The spirit. Because nothing basically interests me in that way. Apart from the concept of life, yeah. nothing else interests me. So, um, but then cinema was there. Actually, the one mm. thing which interests me. And thanks to the, the cinema, um, I got attracted to cinema because of Amitabh Bachchan. Mm. 
is the first person because of whom I was into cinema hmm. and into acting because of Kamal Haas. Hmm. I my profession I decided yeah. because of Kamal. So that is a very strong, uh, you know, uh, motive or yeah. thing to lead your career. So when all these things were happening, I knew that you know uh, now there's no looking back. Hmm. So what I did, the, the spiritual side in me sort of helped me balance. Hmm. Otherwise, I would have lost it. Because it's back. not a regular career path, right? Because in your, I, I'm guessing in your early 20s, mid 20s, you already have four or five super hits and that too in two industries. And you would, you're probably seeing other, other actors who came after you or actors who don't have half the hits as you becoming superstars. Yeah. So what are you going through at, at that phase, at, at that age? The issue happened after my 30s anyway. So after your 30s. 30s okay. yeah. yeah. So I could somehow hold on for a while, fight it out. And after when it gets little more, when it when the problem gets, you know, when you're stuck up in a long time, hmm. then you really lose it. So it was, uh, that's what, uh, it has been a very, uh, uh, what to say, restless journey. You're always restless and uh, Preoccupied. Um, so the spiritual side in me used to balance. Was that always there? It was always there. Yeah. And I have sometimes some suc more successful actors, they might sometimes talk to me, and when they have some failures, they might ask, How do you manage it? Mm. And I might tell them to, you know, relax, things will be. I might be even more, in a, you know, in a, in a, in a weaker position. Mm. But I used to have that balance. But a few years back, I lost the balance. Hmm. I was like, oh God, like, so that was a phase. But again, I, I bounced back. And it, it's, it's a fight, you know. But I how always, do you bounce back? That is you, ev everyone has their own philosophy. So you build your own. You shouldn't philosophy. rely on an external force or anything like that. You have to find the strength yourself. External force and As in some, okay, you got a super hit then and then everything became all right. Or should it be something that you work on yourself? You work on yourself, no? You, it's a daily thing. You. Do whatever means to, you know, either you go the religious way or you go the other way or you go the philosophical way or you meditate or you find your, you read or you speak to people, whatever, or you keep thinking. Hmm. That is the best thing. It's the most difficult thing. That's why hardly people get engaged in it. So, uh, and it helped me a lot. It is, uh, so, and I had this issue of uh, wanting to do what I want to do, which hmm. is not always good, I guess. People used to say, why do you want to be so selective? It's not about being selective. I, if I had a decent director, I in 2010, I decided that, imagine 2010, I had decided that when things started going wrong, I decided that if a decent director comes with a script, I will do the film hmm. without hearing the script hmm. as a hero. I'll do it. In next 12 years, nobody came. Hmm. Obviously, with newcomers, you have to hear the script. Yeah. Or with weak directors, you have to hear the script. Hmm. So, it looks like I'm listening to so many scripts and mm. saying no, which is true. Sometimes, uh, there are years where I have, you know, you might listen to some 30, 40 subjects yeah. and you might not do anything, I might not do anything. There will be an advance of 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs mm. and I'll say no to all of them. And I'll ask my friend and say, Macha, send me 10,000 bucks, mm. I need it. And this has happened some hundred times. Mm. But there is some, somewhere inside I know that I'll, I'll work it out. Mm. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, that is the thing, conviction which keeps you going. So, you know, you're, you know, whatever external forces put you down, you, the, the will to fight, you know, um, puts you back on track. That is something very important. So, people who are very close to me know that. Mm. They, they, they know that they, sometimes they really, you know, they sometimes, sometimes they ask me like, how, surprised that you are alive, Dad. Mm -hmm. so I know. I am sometimes, I myself am very surprised, you know. Sometimes the heartbeats are like, you know, it comes out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. like I was telling Karthi, sometimes you wake up and then the life is here. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right? You know, at, sometimes, you know, you might sleep at 2 and mm. you might wake up at 5 and you are, you can't even see it because you need a minimum focal distance to see it, you know. It's yeah. like dead, bang, and so, so it's, it's a fighting thing which, you know, uh, I, I, it's a, this is something which I always believe and uh, there is this uh, Thin Red Line film, the film hmm. Thin Red Line, Terence Malick. Yeah. It released along with Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. So there's this poster of uh, three soldiers and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. three eyes. And so it, the caption is, every man fights his own war. Hmm. That's it. This is it. So you fight your own war. It's a war. Hmm. You have to win. You can't say otherwise. Hmm. You, so that's it. Hmm. So I'm fighting my war. 
Similarly, did you, did you have did you find it tough to handle that kind of success? No, 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 no. I doesn't even even at that oh, time. No, see that it's a momentary happiness. Happiness, I mean, it's just momentary it's because uh, probably my ambition is I'm too ambitious hmm. in that way. And so no, I have I mean, a long way to go. Those people are coming with all this money and. You know, no, you're I still young. Know, there, there, there's a spiritual side which is always, you know. So you you were grounded even then. Always then. Yeah. I I remember I was sitting with one. Uh, I don't know. He's a guy, he's a person with sixth sense, and uh, mm. somebody um, somebody had mentioned about him, and uh, so I went for an audio launch, and he was there in the room, and uh, I didn't know it's the guy because I was thinking when they talk, spoke about this guru, I thought you know he would. Appear like a guru, but he was wearing jeans and t-shirt. Oh, regular. Okay. Yeah, huh. so I, I didn't know. So everyone left, and he was there. And uh, so the other person said, "This is the man." I was. Like, I said he was here all the while. Hmm. Oh, okay. And he doesn't know anything about me. So he just uh, closed his eyes and he asked me. Uh, it's very strange. Uh, you, he said, "What can be done? That's destiny." He started something. Like that. I said, "Okay." Uh, no, I'm just thinking. See, look at you. Even suppose you become a you know, star, a big star, a superstar, and suppose there's a stage and you're getting, you know, the applause and you know, awards of something, and you made it big and everyone's cheering for you. And even at that moment, in your mind, you will be thinking, "What the hell am I doing here? Hmm. What is this? Hmm. Isn't it?" And that was a very that just stuck me because that is exactly that is that is it. Oh. So I was like, okay. <laughs> he said, yeah. Then I said, no. he said, but I see some blocks. Uh, it'll take some time. I said, okay, fine. That's it. But then again, after a month's time, somewhere we met in the airport, and he said, you are uh, sure you are continuing in cinema? Mm. There's no other conversations or nothing. I don't even know where this man. Mm. I said, yes, I'm sure. Okay, he just walked. So that side is there, you know. I mean, so success and all is like this doesn't do good work, and but of course, I everyone loves the you know the the stardom, the thing. Mm. I see it as that if I have a great market, I can pick up great scripts, and mm. that's all. Very mm. simple. It's not the other side. I can because I know beautiful scripts which I'm not able to do it because I don't have the market. Mm. That's it. So. Mm. be a big star that's it but when you do <laughs> films like kaidi like you know like uh, supporting roles where you, where you're not i mean it's 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 a very good role it's almost equal to the yeah, hero yeah. but you don't have to take the pressure of the market hmm. is it is it is it a lot more freeing and uh, uh, comfortable for you in that way definitely any for any film uh, like the producer and the director the hero has that uh, that responsibility and that the tension filled along with it I don't. I don't guess any other actor, hero and the heroine. Hmm. Uh, but of course, for even if they, if someone has done a, um, what to say, supporting role, the film, if see the film is a hit, it, it helps everyone. Hmm. But the responsibility, that the fear. Yeah. So I know because uh, the films which I have done as hero, the 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 pressure which I had. Hmm. That's different from when I did. Very difficult to handle. When, when I did a film with Kar uh, Kar, but but. But Kaidi, the, the thing was different mm. because I, we knew, or uh, it is going to be a you know hit. Yeah. So that once you know that the pressure is anyways down. Yeah, yeah. How big a hit we don't know. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that that is there. That is, uh, but that's the price you pay for being an actor. You have I know, to be being a star, the hero of the film. Yeah. Because, yeah. You have to, which I have experienced, which I will be experiencing again. You kind of mentioned that you know uh, you're too. You sometimes you feel like you're too soft for this industry. Yeah, yeah. You're too like I'm genuine unfit. for this industry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm misfit. Yeah, misfit. And that, and what I've like also that. like you know heard of instances where you go go out of your way to kind of help your films and help your producers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that a part of the job or right no, now when you look back you should, my, shouldn't have done that's that. That's my foolishness. I yeah. Say, or my that's when I probably I didn't have the right guidance hmm. or. Yeah, when you're putting your own money for other yeah, people, I always believed in the script, so I knew it will work. But then that's not how the cinema industry function, works. Industry yeah. function. That's just part of it, you know. So when I put money to release the film, to help the producer, not taking the money, and we are talking about lakhs and lakhs, which, yeah. which amounts to crores. Yeah, in interest, yeah. No, I'm talking about giving in crores. Yeah, so yeah. Imagine the the interest also in crores. Of course, yeah. 
or uh, in down the yeah. down these years so um, that time i in fact looking back no hmm. those were wrong decisions yeah. but at that time i was fighting for my film where i was playing the hero yeah. so i was trying to build my career it's not that i was doing i was hmm. doing something else so i take the responsibility of that i probably believed uh, in lot of people believed the way things function but that's not the way it is so it took time for me hmm. uh, some people uh, were fortunate probably to you know guide and tell but then had i been part of a film fraternity in the sense if i had part of a film family then i wouldn't have done that of course yeah yeah so it just happened so we we needn't do it no one you know there's nothing is mandatory but i was so passionate i was so serious about my profession that i worked i went out and tried yeah, it and you bet on yourself yeah, yeah and uh, it misfired mm. so i can't blame on anyone else. i can't say that that man that is the way things are you mm. realize so i keep telling when i know a lot of actors who we passed uh, 10 15 years I, we meet a lot of actors we my friends uh, who have been trying to be in the industry and some can't be in the industry so earlier i should tell them that fight it out fight it don't lose hope now now i don't do that i'm like let's be practical you can't you're misfit go escape hmm. don't even think of it so why waste time yeah so some will know i will fight and after 15 years or 10 years they again you say the same yeah. thing so but that's the way it is when cinema is inside you it it you know it it's, it grows you know you don't know how it grows inside you and it could be poison <laughs> so um i don't know so i've been um, and what to say if uh, the cinema industry is a very um, you know we got to be they, they say you no know, it's, it's a wild world out there hmm. that's it so you you are aware and go that's it finish if you can if you're okay with it i keep telling if you if you're okay n- not only that it's like if you're okay for a consistent restlessness throughout hmm. your life <laughs> then welcome to cinema like borrowing a word from you so what is this 15 20 years of the inconsistency because i mean uh, you know the film industry is even for outsiders it's it's extremely like you know how how erratic it can be so when you deal with 15 to 20 years of that do you do you get disturbed uh-huh. it's not because of that i am disturbed always <laughs> okay i mean anything dis- everything disturbs me okay. in one side right from the minute you go out you walk out from your flat the watchman who is probably very helpless looking at something and standing or the man who is trying to you know ride the you know take the goods on his cycle mm. and he's not able to pedal that dis- everything disturbs me probably then i figure out that a lot of issues which other people have actually disturbs me mm. and it's not in my control but that's me so if you cast that then the disturbance is there <laughs> Every part day, of you part yeah. of me now in i can control what i can do yeah. in my life so that is those are things which nothing disturbs mm. me in that way this thing about career mm. that is one thing which i am passionate about now that has to disturb me so that is a constant war you have to deal with so and this rest constant restlessness is something which i believe it's not for me it's for for anybody who enters the field of art it needn't be cinema it can be any forms of art um so that is something which is and cinema adds on to uh, since cinema has most of the art forms in it together any any time and cinema has a business pattern to it so it's not just that good art will win no it's never that way so i guess anybody into cinema is into having having these problems only the elite the probably the top Hmm. in every industry it could be the the top actors the top heroines the top directors and the top camera no, all only those might have a comparatively you know a better hmm. definitely they might have a better thing otherwise everyone has their own thing so but that's the way it is so i am part of it and yeah so so my disturbance is you know if you see that way then actually for me i have realized that other others issues are you know uh, it but won't that make you a better actor your ability to understand other people's problems uh it is it i don't know about a better actor because uh, i don't know if there are many uh, reasons or many points where which can make you a better actor but you be more sensitive yeah you be more emotional so i'm more emotional i can i can get hurt more um so 
yeah probably it can make you better actor probably or probably you be detached uh, sometimes the an art of detachment can make you a better actor i don't know it, 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 there's no rules for it but it definitely makes you a better person uh, the only thing is that sometimes it makes you emotionally weak which right. is not good and in that way in my case in my life i believe i'm a emotionally very strong person right. when it comes to looking at for others it affects me Hmm. so and that is something which i can't do anything about yeah. so but in my thing i always that's why when whenever these downfalls happen i am basically a very emotionally strong person being that emotionally strong person has is he is helping me out so that is something which i which i keep telling i keep telling my daughter that uh, because she is uh, very soft hmm. uh, hearted and you know the moment someone just say something she might very cry. sensitive sensitive yeah. very sensitive i keep telling her her name is tanmaya hmm. tanmaya whatever sudden then there's one thing which i want you to do. you do anything in anything that's okay. but one thing you be emotionally strong hmm. nothing else matters just be emotionally strong because that everything else depends on that how emotionally strong and weak you are the information that that you get the things that you see the way people react the way people love you the, everything is you know it all depends on how emotionally strong and weak you are yeah if you're strong good for you has the industry made you stronger emotionally yeah yeah industry will you have to yeah they will teach the industry will teach you a lesson so you better learn <laughs> yeah i remember rajni sir when i met him once uh, he was looking at me for maybe a, i went him to invite him for my uh, wedding huh. so so he was looking at me look at me and uh, he suddenly said they asked me ulga komaral la komaral komaral you don't get angry so they ah tri 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 and i said uh, i said i don't get angry but after entering the industry you know i started getting <laughs> he was laughing he said what to do industry is like that they asked so the industry will teach us a lot of things good no? yeah see no one's forcing you to be yeah i chose you can't blame so people say that in the, you know that's you chose it nobody <laughs> you can't you can't hmm. if you can you can that's it <laughs> and lastly when we kind of look back at your career is it a a mix of uh happiness and you know like a mix of all emotions or is it generally like you feel like okay I, i've done my best and i'm i'm feeling very satisfied satisfied no way no way. satisfied that for an artist for art that is far from being an artist i guess the moment you're satisfied with that the, the moment you're you're you dead plateau, yeah you're dead so no uh, it's a mix of emotions mm-hmm. like most of them so in between the journey a lot of lot to go let's see <laughs> thank you so much for talking sir always enjoy and love talking to you thank you thank you very much yeah